Um, so in this tutorial, I'm going to make a model user class and a um, maybe a user repository. Do we do that auth too? Not really. So this is we should have really called it auth repository. It's just another another path away. <laughs> I don't want to get too deep into it till later. Y'all won't get into it yet. But it's just a pattern, you can look it up more. But I'll explain it in a later video once we convert all of this to using the block pattern. <clears throat> or maybe provider. I don't know. So, um, yeah, first, so I've already ran the app. So, um, so I'm logged in. So it automatically goes to the newsfeed. Oh, what we wanted to do is get rid of, um, this back button right so we'll go ahead and do that first and um so you might not do the user stuff till later because they kind of give you firebase user object but we're gonna have our own object so so it's gonna be of type um i don't know the type it's from, it's from the auth result we're gonna make our own type really so anyways anyways let's get back to it okay <laughs> we yeah we're not gonna use that so uh, I forgot what the method is called but or function whatever you want to call it but, or whatever it's called uh, so push replacement so basically this replaces which will throw <laughs> this is kind of weird okay okay yeah, yeah we'll go ahead and do it so just to show you it probably ran already but so you see now it doesn't have the back button so it really replaced the login button so you can't even go back Maybe if you had it on an Android device, you can go back. But if you went back on an Android device, um, it would basically close the app because it's Flutter, right? Yeah. I'm not, I'm not from native. I haven't tried this on Android. So. It replaced the um, on Android to be a fragment, native Android to be a fragment or activity, whatever. And um, native iOS to be a view controller. So if you're coming from any of those backgrounds, um, so yeah, so this is how we make it where then it it gets rid of the back button. It basically replaces the screen instead of just pushing it onto a stack. You can think of like a stack of papers. A stack is an actual data structure. Uh, yeah, you can look that up. I might have videos later, data structure videos. But we also did that in um, register, right? Did we? Pretty sure we did. We didn't. That'd be weird. Okay. What is it called? Push replacement. Okay. You see named push replacement name, but that's we might use that because the screens. We might have a. A good amount of screens. I mean, we kind of do that now, but I'll show that later. Cause later, at the end of this video, I'll refactor it and um, make the code a little cleaner. We're gonna do it as we go. Make the code cleaner as well. But later, we'll use the block pattern. I plan on using the block pattern. Maybe provider. I don't know. I really pr uh, thinking about the block provider. We'll get there. So. Um, anyways, login, right? So, we'll go to login, just search, navigate, oh, it's right here. Oh, man. Why is my keyboard not? Alright, so, just do that. So, when you log in, I'll also replace it. So, um... 
We might want to make a new. Should we do a pop up? And <laughs> a dialogue. Okay, we can do a dialogue and um, show the user that way. Yeah, I'll just show you how to do the news feed right now. We'll do the. Just keep it exciting, sort of. <laughs> All right, so if you go to the news feed, um, uh, page, now we get started creating the news feed. So what we'll do is we need to add a body. So I guess we can make a column and then do, um, We'll just do a raise button. Let's make it real simple now just to get the idea. So I'll just put that as create post. I'm tripping. I'm tripping, tripping. I'm tired. <laughs> so I'm tripping. Okay, so oh, I thought I copied it. So we'll just do um, a raise button with the text of create post. And I'm tripping because yeah okay so we'll do the on pressed we'll do the show dialogue which we have the context from the build context and it'll be it's better like this if you see it like this so You know, the builder which takes context. Expects you to return something. So I'll just do that for right now. But um instead so of returning no, we want to actually create a we'll use the dialogue for the create post. We'll just make it a little different than other I'm trying to think of something unique. <laughs> I'm also trying to think of stuff new to teach you. Um, so the art file will do create post dialog, and we'll just do this as a stateful widget. Um, create post dialog command to create this for you to know is um, this you start typing STF and it, it'll start, it'll ask you for. I'll do it again to show you. You start type STF, and that's just a little shortcut to make a stateful widget. So that's that. Um, so instead of returning a container, we want to turn the dialog. So dialog have child. So we'll make it another. We'll do a column. We we'll have some children, of course. Um, and what we'll do, let's have a text saying, uh, enter a post. This should be a text uh, dialogue. So we'll add images later and stuff. Maybe even, even, sorry, I can't talk. Maybe even video. So do new posts. We could put create new posts. Either way. Anyways, um, maybe we should do that just to be consistent. Um, and we'll do a text field. 
I don't, do we want to keep the same text field we have here? Maybe we should. Well, at least keep this stuff. So we won't use the form field, but we'll use the text field. So we'll just put all that, just copy that from register. Copy from login too. So um, host controller. We'll define that in a minute. Um, text. Look for something post. Post that looks fine. So create post. We may change this later, but I'm just trying to show you real quick. So we need to create that. So we'll do it in build. Okay. So text editing controller post controller equals text. You don't have to put new. The newest dark version. So. So that's good. And then we need a submit post button. Oh man. Okay. Which one is a child? I keep getting that wrong. Um, we'll just print it out. <laughs> so I've been doing JavaScript lately, so um print post text is post controller dot text. So I just do a full run. I don't think we even caught it right here, so what do you create? Post dialog, which is not um, imported yet, so it's good not to type it out fully and just press enter on the autocomplete. That way, it will automatically import it for you. And we'll just do that. So, that should work. Let's do a full run. And we'll center that and everything in a minute. But, um, yeah, that's fine. Maybe we don't, we don't want it stretching the whole way. <laughs> uh, we can set a size. We can put in a container and set a size. Or, I don't know. We'll just get the functionality done. <laughs> Sorry, I can dot functionality done. And then we'll change that up, up a bit. And, but oh yeah, we'll just test this out real quick. So, test. So, post text is test. Just to confirm it. Okay. Well, also, we need to. If you create, click on the side of a, a dialog, it goes away. But, did it keep the state of it? No. Okay. But, also, when we click raise button, we want it to go away as well. So, Can we just uh, what is it to pop a dialog? Oh, navigator uh, pop. Is that right? I'm trying to think. Need the context. Cool. Let's just try it. I don't, I don't remember off the top of my head. So, test. Post text is, yep, yeah, okay, so. Uh, I mean, that was right. We just saw it, so. We'll make this center, this center and everything in the middle, but first let's just get the functionality done. 